Bamboo needs to fix this immediately. What I found, everyone needs to hear this. I'm having problems with supports. I had another video on how to make supports not break. And I'm getting to the point now where I'm building stuff and it's still exploding. I'm building my own supports and they're still exploding. And then I pressure test these because here's the one who exploded. Right here is the one who actually exploded. Uh, the machine broke this one. And then for this here, this was just like this. And for me to break it, I actually had to grab and apply, apply quite a bit of pressure to snap it off. And it's like, well, how could that be? How could that be breaking? And I figured it out, you guys. So this is the truth. Um, I don't know why it's this way. And I don't know why no one's brought this up. So this is what I had. Um, I'm making this shelf or whatever. But, you know, this is the infill right here. Um, any infill it does this with, okay, and then here's my supports. And these arms are coming up here and supporting this that I designed because it kept breaking. My supports kept breaking right here. My original supports that the machine, that the Bamboo Lab gives you. So then I designed my own. When they started snapping up, I'm like, okay, we got a real problem here. So what I did is I started listening to my machine. And uh, every time it got done with the travel here, it would zoom across here, and you could hear it go da 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 da, and just wrap across everything. And I kind of noticed that right away when I started 3D printing, but I never actually got down to the reason why it's doing that. And um, what's happening is that that 700 to 500 inches a minute, you know, here's your machine back here um, with your tool head. Um, and what happens is that 700 inches a minute, that motor is going to pull this this way. And that's going to just arc your whole machine. And what that's going to do is it's going to cause this to go to do this and swoop and then come back up. So at some point in time, it's getting a full travel. So it's stopped and it's cut right here and it's getting a full travel. It starts and it really hammers down to 700. Bam! And it hits that support. And then it starts making it. And now that support goes flying off. So what you do is you go and you find your travel speed and you put it all the way down to 200, uh, 350, 200. And uh, you can witness this all for yourself. And that, the reason I think it's an issue is because Bamboo seems to know this. How could they not know this? And what this results in is way more failed prints. I mean, this could be failing from uh, your first layer because it's going down and, wham, and then now you have a line in your bed and you don't know why or maybe it's going to tear up your part. So this here is going to save a lot of prints for us here. Save a lot of prints for everyone. You turn that travel speed down. Okay, travel, this marker sucks. Travel speed down. Thank you for watching my video.